Like the life of a lot of pioneers and inventors, Louis Chevrolet's passion and determination, along with his knack for making high-end automobiles, is a true inspiration to all of us. Louis was an extraordinary automobile designer and racing driver. He was also the co-founder of the popular company Chevrolet. It is impossible for you to not have heard of this brand. Chevrolet is one of the most famous motoring brands in the world, and it hasn't earned this name and position today. It has been holding it for ages. However, the story of the Chevrolet company began simply with an immigrant mechanic who had a deep love for motors and fancied speed. And after working hard, Lewis' efforts were paying off, and his dreams were finally coming true. But right when things started to take off for him, it all went south because of one bad decision. Imagine the dream you worked so hard for being taken away from you, only for the company to flourish and reach new heights, making millions of money while you're struggling day and night to make ends meet. Unbelievable, right? But unfortunately, this has happened. So do you want to find out about the whole story of Louis Chevrolet? Here we begin. The Early Life of Louis Chevrolet Louis was born on 25 December 1878 in the town of La Chaux de Fonds, a French-speaking region in Switzerland. He was the second child among his parents' nine children and spent most of his early childhood in a small village nearby named Bonfol. Louis belonged to a modest family, and his father was employed in the watchmaking industry, so he often helped his father. But unfortunately, the economic crisis began plaguing the Chevrolet family soon, and Louis, along with six of his siblings and parents, had to move to Bonne in France. Louis was nine years old at this time. His father opened a watch store in France, but the venture turned out to be unsuccessful. So after he turned 11, Louis began working to support his family financially. First, he began working at a bicycle workshop where he became familiar with the mechanic's fundamentals. Then he started repairing bicycles and coaches to make a living, until one day Louis was sent to a hotel named Hotel de la Poste to fix a steam-driven tricycle that belonged to an American. This was the exact moment when Louis fell in love with two things. The first one was automobiles, and the second one was the prospect of moving to America. The man whose tricycle Louis skillfully fixed at the hotel was a multimillionaire named Vanderbilt. Surprised and impressed with the talent exemplified by Louis, Vanderbilt encouraged him to move to America, saying he was going to find better work there. Following the American Dream Louis initially went to Paris, which was the main center of production of automobiles in Europe at the time. Louis learned about the fundamentals of the internal combustion engine in a workshop in Derrick. Later, he worked there for some time to earn money to pay for his trip to Canada, where he worked as a mechanic as well as a chauffeur for a few months. Finally, he used the money he earned there to move to New York, where he was employed as a mechanic by William Walter, a fellow Swiss migrant. After a short period, Chevrolet began working for the American subsidiary of the popular automobile company, De Dion Bouton. However, the subsidiary was shut down and Lewis became unemployed. This might be a setback in his career, but it proved to be a boon for him on a personal level because he started working as a chauffeur for the Trevo family, where he met the love of his life, Suzanne. Chevrolet and Suzanne got married in July of 1905 in New York and they had two sons, Charles and Alfred, in the future. In the same year, Chevrolet got married. He also started working for Fiat, but did not stay there for long either. He moved to Philadelphia in 1906 to work under Walter Christie, racing driver. In the meantime, Chevrolet's fixation with engines had reached a whole another level and was driven by the idea of fast speed, which led him to become a racing driver. In Walter Christie's factory, Lewis was employed as a primary assistant in developing a modern race car based on a new concept, front-wheel drive. It is said that even when he was a teenager, Lewis liked to participate in bicycle races, and he was so good that he won the majority of the time. So when he became a racing driver and participated in his first motorized race in New York, called the Three Miles, the fact that he created a world record by attaining a top speed of 109.7 kmph didn't come as a huge surprise. Lewis continued to make world records when he built his first ever race car in the same year and clocked at a speed of 191.5 kmph. Hereafter, his accomplishments as a race car driver only kept growing. 
It was not only Lewis who liked to race cars. His brothers Gaston and Arthur also competed, but the position was usually taken by Lewis. However, as a racing driver, he soon paid a hefty price for his wonderful successes. He spent almost three years of his life in hospital beds due to undergoing several accidents. But when his younger brother, Gaston, died in a racing accident, Chevrolet never returned to racing cars again. Founding the company, Lewis' accomplishments as a race car driver were what sort of influenced his career. The flourishing automobile market and its smart investors started noticing the courageous and creative Swiss, and a Boston-based investor named William Billy Durant approached Lewis. After a short while, Chevrolet and William Durant started a company in Detroit in 1911 and named it Chevrolet Motor Car Company. Their strategy was quite simple. While Louis would focus on designing automobiles, Durant would focus on marketing them. William's interest was not only focused on the Chevrolet's fine performance as a race car driver, but also on the exotic French-sounding name of his family. Just a year after founding the Chevrolet Motor Car Company, they made the first Classic 6 edition on the floor of the Detroit factory in Detroit. After which, the four-cylinder car named Baby Grand, the L Light 6, and the two-seater car named Royal Mail followed. Louis Chevrolet turned out to be a gifted designer as well. All four automobiles he designed went on to become the signature of the Chevrolet company. Louis would have continued to help design more impressive automobiles for the company if it weren't for the fight between him and William Durant in 1914. Because of this fight, the motor cars produced by the Chevrolet Motor Car Company between the years 1911 and 1914 were the only ones that Chevrolet could help design. The decision to build mass-produced vehicles, when the two persistent founders of the motor car company, Chevrolet and Durant, focused on positioning their company, an argument occurred. When Chevrolet went on a vacation, Durant instructed the company to focus its direction on building more affordable cars so they could compete with ones manufactured by Ford simultaneously. However, it did not suit well with Louis Chevrolet. He considered this a mockery because he had always been more interested in creating high-powered speed cars in addition to other exclusive models, which means they cost a fortune. The downfall of Louis Chevrolet After the disagreement between the two partners, Durant decided to give orders to the company without Chevrolet's consent. Durant also commented on Chevrolet's personality, which made him even more furious. And then Lewis committed a huge mistake by selling his stake in the motor car company to Durant out of anger. He started a racing car company named Frontinic Motor Company and was scheduled to release his first passenger car. But as we mentioned, due to his brother's demise, followed by a Wall Street scandal and the Great Depression, Louis faced serious financial troubles. Chevrolet turned jobless and poor during the American crisis. Left with few options, Louis had to return to work for the Chevrolet Motor Car Company as a mechanic and ultimately succumbed to death in 1941 because of his health issues. What do you think of Chevrolet's story? Let us know in the comments section below. For more such videos, subscribe to Business Bio and hit the bell icon to never miss any notification from us. Stay tuned.